Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How are you today? We're getting started with your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Virgo. For the collective, it won't resonate with everyone. It's like a buffet table. Take what is yours. Let's see what is happening for Virgo and their love life. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're doing well. The Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Sagittarius energy. And Five of Wands. So you are, timing is good right now for relationships. Uh, spiritually speaking, we do have the Five of Wands. You're feeling conflicted. It looks like you may be having some egocentric battles with a lover. Okay, Ten of Coins. So what brings you to the reading is that you really want to know if this person would make a commitment to you. At the end of the day, if you're not married to this person, it's sort of like, well, are they the one for me? Will they give me the relationship that I require, that I want, that I value? That is your energy, Virgo. Here you are in your reading. You want someone who is as hardworking as you are. You want someone who's in it to win it, and you want to build a legacy. In the recent past, oh, Virgo, look at this. You found a soulmate, a soulmate that is protected by an archangel. Look at this. So you are really feeling that it's time to get through some difficulties. The three of coins, your person looks as though they are not highly engaged with you at this time. The three of coins typically means that you're willing to work on a relationship with someone. And that your person of interest looks as though they're not quite there with you. It's almost as, as though you feel as though they're taking you for granted. So let's see what we have in the near future. There we go. Okay. So Virgo, you have very strong beliefs about what you want, what you require. Um, most of you want commitment. We have legacy marriage here. For those of you who are married, um, you really want the relationship to get better. You want your partner to be your, your um, love mate. You want them to be your lover. You feel as though things are good overall, but it just seems like there's a bit of a rough ride right now. So when we look at what is going on, where you stand right now, you are dissatisfied. Now, the Four of Cups is a checklist card. It's a card that is not necessarily helpful to you, Virgo. You have this strong desire. You have the strength to bring everything to the table and culminate in a relationship. For those of you who are not married, you definitely want commitment, you want stability, you want somebody who's in it to win it. But right now this conflict is going on and you're not happy, you're not quite sure what to do about it. We get that the person loves you, but you're actually not seeing that. You're looking at the, the glass empty as opposed to the glass half full. So let's see. This is beautiful energy. You have two major arcanas. Three. Four. You have four major arcanas out of seven cards. Means a relationship is very significant. The page of cups reversed says that the person that you've been involved with is when the page of cups is upright it means it's a very awkward offer of love and now your person has stopped that. Your person has gone silent. You do think of this person as somebody who's strong, somebody who in the past was very much in it with you. You feel as though, you know, they wanted the same things as you do. Your worst fear and your highest wish is that this person would come back into this emperor energy. This is Aries energy. You want them to take some action towards you and your experience of this right now, Virgo, is that your person who you feel really certain loves you is being quiet. This is unconditional love. It's a Scorpio King. Um, really, it, you know, what we see here is somebody that you love, somebody that loves you. You're very much caught in this sort of ego battle. Who's going to make the first move is the question of the ego battle, okay? So I'm going to clarify the cards, and we have clarifying oracles also coming up, so don't go anywhere. Let's see what's going on. I like this overall. The overall energy is very good in the relationship, 
Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, King of Wands. King of Wands energy, Leo energy. We see Leo energy here. So in the future, I feel as though, Virgo, you may step into a much more um, outward goal. I feel that you're going to come to the table. You're going to come in. You're going to show the strength, the desire that you have. You're going to take action. You're going to tell your person with this chariot card that you love them, that you will want to advance the relationship forward. Look at that Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So you are going to take the driver's seat here, Virgo. You're going to rush back into the situation in which you think there's now conflict. Yep, Two of Cups, Eight of Coins, Virgo. Look at this energy. That's beautiful. That's bride and groom. This is marriage, traditional marriage. This is a legacy marriage. The eight of coins. You want to work on things with this person. You're going to take a leadership role here. That's what I'm seeing for you. Um, you're going to do it. Your person, it's possible that your person may do it, in which case you can be the recipient of this nice energy. The Three of Cups tells me that you feel as though your person is your best friend, that they were your best friend. Look at this Justice card just slipped out. You feel as though they've always treated you very well. We get the Reconciliation, excuse me, we get the card of the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Energy. There's a lot of goodwill in this relationship. This lover was your happily ever after. Look at that. Another marriage card. Look at this. The Libra card is all about balancing things out. It's very much about being fair and just. But I would say, Virgo, that you are very much feeling like you have to protect yourself. Even though you want this person, you're, you've been holding back for a while. It, doesn't, it hasn't paid off. It's, it has not been a good strategy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune card here for our beautiful Virgo friends? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? So timing is on your side. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. The Seven of Cups. Virgo, you have a lot of options. Why is has that presented an ego conflict with your person? It looks like your person is very dissatisfied with the fact that they don't feel as though they have your attention on them enough. Lover's card, there you go. You're feeling both, you're both kind of possessive of each other and you're both kind of jealous of each other. The lover's card is here and the lover's card is here. That is a soulmate connection, but your person really wants you to give them the kind of attention that makes them feel that they're the only one. Now, as you all know, if you've watched tarot for a while, energy can be vice versa. You may feel that they need to give you attention. You know, it can be vice versa. The Three of Coins. Why is this flaky Three of Coins up here? Nine of Swords. Yep, you feel as though this person isn't. They're invested and yet not doing anything. They're not taking any action. It's made you lose sleep. You keep wondering where they really stand in the relationship. Ah, they are manifesting you. Your person is really being... Um, they want you to be equally invested. Your person, Virgo, doesn't like it when you do not show them or you don't tell them that you love them they want this fiery person you know your person is really desirous of having you be uh, more verbal Virgos tend to be a little bit shy right a little bit um, with this four of coins you do hold back because we go from the three of coins to the four of coins okay so why do we have the Hierophant card here whoops here we go you have, oh, look at this. Both of you have very different ideals. I get that you do not abide by the same philosophies in life. Some of your viewpoints are very different. And those differences, five of wands, five of wands, they create conflict in the relationship. You are trying to study the situation, Virgo. You do want to invest with this person. You plan on investing with them. You feel as though you're going to take, again, the leadership role here, and you're going to let your person know that you are invested in them. You want them to invest back in you. You definitely also want them to stop being, you feel as though they're being ego-driven. 
Now the question of course is, are you both ego driven? Because I'm feeling as though there's been some drama. We have the five of swords reversed, which is good. The five of swords reversed helps me know that you don't, you really don't want conflict. You don't want any drama. There was some drama when there was a little, an ego clash here. And you're trying to sort of take an inventory of what you think will happen. You're wondering what happened to the love. Why did this exquisite relationship that brought you so much happiness, how did it fall into this feeling of disarray? Why is your feeling, why is your person not really making any effort to come together with you at this time? Why have they gone wonky and quiet and not really talking to you? Why have they gone silent? You know this person loves you. That's the thing. You do know that strength card. Your person really feels as though, Virgo, that their strength lies in being quiet. Hermit card, they feel as though you ghosted them or that you really didn't, you somehow were the first person that caused drama because it looks as though you went silent on them. And so their response to you is that they'll go silent on you and let you figure it out. It's not a bad strategy per se, but your hopes and dreams are indicating to me that you want to let this energy go. You don't want to have an ego conflict with this person. You just want to be happy. It is Scorpio energy. You do feel as though this could be a repeat pattern that you need to let go, that sometimes you like to sort of be the boss of the relationship and you need to let it go. You want very, very much to uh, reunite with your person. You're watching them. Virgo, are you driving by their house? Maybe they're driving by your house. Again, this can be vice versa. But what you both want actually is equal give and take. I get that the core issue is that you actually are very much on the same page. You love each other very much. You have a solid relationship that just feels as though it's not working right now. Why is the Queen of the King of Cups as your outcome? Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah. Because what you feel, Virgo, is you feel as though you know this person loves you, but they're giving you very little. You feel as though their offer of love is not adequate. You know, while you're trying to manifest something very beautiful and magical, you feel as though your person is not so highly invested and you are afraid that they've walked away. The Eight of Wands, you want to hear something from them. You want them to text something sexy, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You want your person to show some sexual interest, send you a cute message, send you something clever, but you feel as though they really have left the situation. So let's look and see what the Wisdom of the Oracle has here for you, Virgo. You know, Five of Wands sometimes, I don't really see it as game playing, but it's, it's sort of like an, it's just ego. It's ego and it's an unwillingness to compromise that doesn't really work out for anyone. Fork in the road, okay. So Spirit is saying to you that you are at a fork in the road that you will have to make a decision. Your person appears not to be willing to uh, step in and take a leadership role. They feel as though you were the one who started any sort of um, ghosting or not contacting them. They felt as though you put them, you know, that you judge them. They do feel that way. They are holding back. Your person loves you, but they feel very self-protective. Angel of Love. Here we go. Look at this. The Lover's Card. Look at this. The Angel of Love is right here protecting your relationship. Angel of Love right there. So Virgo, Virgo, you are protected. Spirit wants this relationship. Look at this. Hostilities. Whoa, you have had some fights. What you thought your partner, what you thought was simply an ego battle to your partner was a mortal wound. Look at that hostilities. Whoa, okay. So you're at a fork in the road. You definitely, something has to give here or else this relationship could really cause the two of you, you know, one of you to take off. 
Angel of Balance, find your balance, Virgo. All right, so I want to see what the Moonology deck, well, let's look at the Destiny deck to see what the lesson is for you, Virgo. We're going to pull one card for your lesson and one card for your person's lesson. What is Spirit trying to teach you? Because this Guardian Angel and all of this Angel energy around you is trying to teach both of you to let go of your egos. That's what I'm getting. Very strong. You, sometimes you fight over just nonsensical things or it's not actually a battle. It's much more of a passive aggressive energy. So for you, Virgo, what is your journey? Cleansing waters, purifi purification activities, vibrant life force. You need, to, you need to let go. Clean up your vibration right now. Let go of any ego-driven uh, energy that you may have. What is your person's journey right now, Virgo? What is your person's journey? Valiant courage, take action with passion. You want them to do it. You want them to do it. However, given the fact that you have these hostilities here, you know, it shows that your person actually thinks that you hurt them, that you caused the drama. They do not feel as though they caused drama. They feel as though it's up to you to make the apology. You know, at the end of the day, an ego-driven energy is all about, oh no, I'm not going to do it, they can do it. So it's really time to give that behavior up. Whoever the uh, leader is in this relationship, I feel, Virgo, that you will ultimately show leadership. Let's see what Moonology deck has for you in terms of wise counsel and the situation. The end of a rough cycle approach is beautiful. Yeah. Well, that's what I have for you, Virgo. It's been a joy doing this reading for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you.